everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today I am talking about the 2023 Nissan Titan pickup truck. Uh, the Nissan Titan is kind of a kind of the underdog of the full-size truck world. I think it has one of the lowest sales numbers and I just can't quite figure out why because it is one of my favorite trucks to drive. Of all the ones that you've seen on this channel, I like this one the most. Uh, I just I like the exterior design. I like the layout of the inside. Um, <clears throat> I really like the engine in this. This has the 5.6 liter endurance V8, which in this year is good for 400 horsepower and 413 pound feet of torque. And of course, it sounds awesome because it's a V8. And that is paired with a uh, newer nine speed transmission. Nissan started using this a, a while back uh, as an upgrade to their. Uh, um, the older automatics in the Titan and the Frontier, and this transmission is really nice. It shifts really quick. Those nine speeds give you really good fuel economy. I mean, on the highway, I can get better than 20 miles to the gallon out of this V8. So I'll show a little section on that later in the video, but uh, stay tuned. We're gonna talk about this big old pickup truck behind me. So the Nissan Titan has one engine option, and that is a 5.6 liter V8 with 400 horsepower and 413 pound-feet of torque. Uh, Nissan designed this motor several decades ago, so it's been around a long time and it has a reputation for being long-lived. I met a man once who had 345,000 miles on his Titan with the 5.6 V8 and the automatic transmission. So the Titans come in a handful of different models. You have the S version, which is the entry level, and then you can get the King Cab, which is the standard front doors with the rear suicide doors or the crew cab, which is four full doors, which is what I have here. Uh, you get the SV, that's the next model up, a little more options. That's what I'm driving today. This is also, this one also has four wheel drive. <clears throat> there is the midnight edition, which kind of gives you this blacked out appearance package. My favorite version, the Pro 4X, which is the off-road version with skid plates and Bilstein off-road shocks and a rear locker. If I was buying one, that's the one that I would have. And then there is the uh, Lim Platinum Limited Edition, I believe, which is like the luxury version. <clears throat> and you'll also see Titan XDs. So it's they're pretending like it's a heavy duty truck. Uh, it's the same truck. The only thing that's different on the XD is the chassis is a little more beefed up or, or it has what they call on their website uh, commercial grade parts. So whatever that means. Uh, so it's, it's designed to handle the heavier weights. It has a little bit higher tow rating, about 2,000 pounds more. Uh, you, you can max out the Titan at over 11,000 pounds, just over 11,000 pounds with your tow rating. So I, I'm not going to be towing anything, so I don't necessarily need the XD. It's not a huge jump. It doesn't make it an HD truck. It's still a standard, you know, 1500 size truck with it beefed up a little bit. Uh, this used to come with a uh, Cummins V8 diesel. Uh, but they quit making that. They were having a lot of problems with it from what I've heard from some mechanics, which is strange for a, a Cummins engine, but uh, you can't get that anymore. It's the V8 only. It's the Endurance 5.6 liter V8 is what they call it. And it's a really good engine and it sounds great. You know me, I love the V8 sound. I would upgrade to the V8 whenever necessary, whenever possible because the sound, the, the fuel economy is not that different. Like I said, I was getting over 20 miles to the gallon on the highway compared to some of these V6 and four cylinders. Uh, I did a little more standardized test on this one with the cruise set, didn't touch the brake, went 65 miles, I think, uh, and, and didn't try to keep up with traffic or anything like that, which is what I usually do when I'm doing the fuel mileage test, but this will start making it more of a standardized system. So let's take a look at the 2023 Nissan Titan 4x4. So with the Titan, you don't have the option for one of these fancy origami tailgates. It's just a standard tailgate. You do get the soft open and the camera built in the rear. So to lower that down, that's fine with me. I don't need an origami tailgate. However, they do option on some of their other models, a rail system that goes in here and around the back, 
where you can attach hooks just with a simple screw. I have this option in my front here and it is really nice for tying things down because you can adjust where the hook goes. They also offer a box they call the Titan box which kind of sits right over the wheel well here and attaches to the truck that allows you to store things and lock them which is a really cool feature. However this model didn't have them. Um, but any kind of little bed things like that are really nice for helping store things, keeping things locked up without having to put a cap on it. Uh, I'm kind of partial to the caps, but you can put so much back there and keep it safe. But if you're not looking to doing that, then one of these boxes, Titan boxes, should be helpful. So most of these full-size trucks, man, they got so much room in the back, it's amazing. Just like all the other trucks, you can fold these up. One thing I like about the Titan seats, and I think the Chevy Silverado seats do the same, I don't have to pull any levers to lift this up. I just pull them up. Uh, now, with the Silverado, I do like that I can just pull them back down wherever, however, with this when there is a lever, but it's pretty simple. And of course, they fold flat as well. A um, little bit of room behind the, the seats there to store some items. And then once you're in it, plenty of room in the seats on either side. There is an armrest here in the middle with some cup holders if you've only got two in the back. Uh, but otherwise, nothing special. I will say that there are no charging plugs in the back of the truck. Um, now some of the higher options with a convenience package may have that, but this particular model I have, which is an SV, does not have all of the options. Uh, they do have some nice speakers in the back, couple cup holders here, but pretty basic. So the button layout on the Nissan is great. Uh, most of your controls that you're gonna be using regularly are over here on the left side, which is what I prefer, because I've always got my hand on the, on the edge of the door here. So I can control the volume and the dashboard controls all from right here and use my Siri. The right side is your cruise control. This does have the adaptive cruise control, so it adjusts your speed uh, if you're coming up on a car that's going slower than you, which is really nice. I do like this center display. Uh, there's some off-road options here, so it tells you, you know, if you're in four-wheel drive, what degrees your wheels are turned at, what degrees your vehicle is tilted at, and as you go through here, you'll see other options as well. You've got your auxiliary gauges, temperatures. Um, that was what I got driving through driving through some highway in cities with 21.4 miles to the gallon. Your average economy. And then of course, you got your main settings up here. And then this vehicle, this one does have the driving aid. So if a car's in your blind spot, it will tell you, it'll tell you if you're backing up and getting close to hitting something. Same thing with your, your forward looking radar. So this does have some of the safety amenities that a lot of cars have these days. I do like the button layout on this. You've got a push button start, you've got a four wheel drive switch here, and then you've got your controls for your traction control, parking assist, and your um, safety controls here. Normal buttons for your HVAC. I, I can't stand cars that have everything in the touch screen. And then you have your car play available with some basic controls on here. Um, I, I just like this simple design. I, all these touch screen things just drive me up the wall. You can't. It's hard to use them while you're driving. You got to go through six menus in here to turn your heated seats on or whatever. So, you know, I like the truck to be functional with the amenities that I want and be functional and not so nice that I don't, I'm afraid to do anything truckish with it. So the center console, you've got your typical cup holders and a little spot for change. Um, I do like this because it has some space in here where you can like stuff paperwork, maps and things and then you can pull out these dividers and kind of resize your storage compartment with various trays. And then of course, you can fold that up and it gives you a seat and you also get storage underneath. So, lots of nice little options and then you just pull this lever to pull your seat back down and it makes a nice comfy armrest. So overall, this is my favorite full-size pickup truck. I don't know what it is about it I like so much more than the rest of them, but it all just kind of adds up to a package that I like. And again, it's a severely underrated truck. It may not have all the options and bells and whistles that you can get with like 
your GMC origami tailgate or some of the other items, but I don't need all of that. I just want a truck that's got a good sound system, Apple CarPlay, four wheel drive, and a locker and some ground clearance, and that's all I need. So definitely take a look at the Nissan Titan. You're getting, I believe, Toyota re reliability levels for a lot less of the cost, and it's a cool looking truck. So check it out, the 2023 Nissan Titan. Well, I know we just made a video on the Nissan Titan SV, uh, but I managed to get my hands on a Titan Pro 4X XD since the original filming of this video. I had a nice big shoot planned today, but unfortunately it looks like we're about to get a thunderstorm that's supposed to produce some hail. So we're on our way to try to get a few little shots and tell you a little bit about what's special about the Titan. Pro 4X, which is the model that I would have if I was buying one of these. All right, we're gonna get the acceleration on the 5.4 in the Pro 4X Titan and the sound. <laughs> Man, it sounds nice. I don't know if it has a different exhaust than the SV. It seems to be a little bit louder than I remember the SV being, but I could be wrong. certain RPM it gets a little cackle out of the rear end which is really fun so this is the interior of the Pro 4X version of the Nissan Titan XD so we got our four-wheel drive here um, this one comes with a built-in trailer brake controller which is really nice and then you've got your traction control your parking aids here your motion or your distance detectors for people that are around you and then Nissan actually has a pretty nice center console, so you, the phones fit in here perfectly, and you can run the cord down there. And then you got cup holders. You got a space here that you could put your phone. But if you want more space, these pop out. Yeah, I know it's dirty. I was, uh, I just got back from a trip, uh, but tons of space there. And those just pop back in, and you can rearrange it. I could put this here if I wanted, and the cup holders up front. But. This is one of the best little phone holders I've seen in any pickup truck. And then of course you have a center console here, which is nice and deep. You can take this out. And then you've got, I'm not even sure what these are for, but I guess you can do something up here. Put some paperwork. And then you've got some cup holders in the rear. I really like the stitching in the Pro 4X on the seats. Of course it says Pro 4X everywhere. This model comes with the Fender speaker system, which sounds great. The Fender branding is kind of all over the place with the speakers. This is in your driver's side door. Then you got a couple cup holders here and storage there. This one, it being a Pro 4X version, is equipped with a rear electronic locker. So you can hit that button, lock the rear in, and of course put it in four wheel drive. You also have hill descent control. And then I like this, it has two AC power bolts in the back and you can do 150 watts or 400 watts. This one is equipped with an SOS system and then you have a rear sliding window which is just a little small portal that opens up. And then a sunglasses holder as well. Also down here beside the seat, you have a storage pouch on either side, which is nice to put papers or something down here. And then it's got this little thing here to kind of help prevent your phone from sliding down between the seats, which is really nice. In the rear seat of the Pro 4X, you have your standard power port, you have two USBs, and then you have a up to 400 watt AC power supply. So this has the same folding seats as the other Titan with the lever to pull it down, but this does have the nice stitching. It has the center seat armrest with cup holders. And then if you notice when I fold this up, you have a folding platform that you can have a, so you can have a flat platform in the back. And then this is a locking uh, compartment underneath. And then on the other side does the same thing, but it, it's obviously longer. It's a 60-20 seat. So you can see that the rear sliding window, I mean, it's, it's functional. It helps prevent the wind from wafting around the back of your head when you have the windows open. Uh, definitely not as nice as that one in the Tundra where the whole window comes down. This model is also equipped with a little pop-out step 
which is extremely helpful for getting in the back of the truck. I don't know how well that holds up to uh, off-road abuse if you're dragging your bumper, but uh, really nice for getting in the back of the truck. I love the rear tailgate design on the Titans. They kind of have this big T design that you see all over the truck. Thanks for joining everybody. I hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful. Uh, if you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can catch my next video. This is Kentucky Petrolhead over and out.